So when is a fender not a fender and a squire not a squire? Hmm. Hey everybody, Jace Allen, welcome back to the channel, Jace Allen Music, and I really like kind of buying oddball guitars. I think uh, they're kind of cool. I like, like, you know, 80s Japanese made guitars and, and Korean made guitars and things that are kind of off the wall, like off models that like Fender and Squire make. And so I stumbled across this interesting uh, guitar and... Uh, at first glance, you would think it was a Fender. But then if you look closely, you notice that it says something about Squire. Squire Series. Usually a Squire will say Squire here and then licensed by Fender or something to that effect somewhere on it. it usually A Squire usually doesn't have a Fender brand on it where, where when you would look at it at first you would think well is that a fender <laughs> so this particular guitar is a squire but it's got the fender branding on it fender stratocaster this one is made in korea i think i think the year is 90s late 80s or 90s i can't be certain uh, I'll post some information in the description after I look it up. Uh, this is a really nice guitar. I think it's an actual rosewood fretboard, which is nice. Maple neck, skunk stripe. You got your uh, regular old neck plate there and the uh, cover on it. And it, it, I haven't taken it off yet, but from the looks of it, that is a full thickness or a full width, a large block uh, tremolo. And then it's got just some regular, I think these are magnetic. I'm not sure. They they kind of look staggered, but they look staggered in a, you know, with the string height, where they follow the string height. And a lot of staggered pole pieces on El Nico pickups are kind of randomly scattered, st staggered. And these seem to be like they follow. So again, I haven't taken it apart yet to find out if there's magnetic pickups in there. Uh, it's got the bent saddles on it, which kind of look retro, and they're stamped with the Fender brand. Um, what else can I say? Uh, it's a full thickness body, which most squires are not, and it's got to be alder or ash because it's, it's really heavy. It's not basswood. It's not uh, poplar or anything like that. Uh, one of the things that I kind of don't like about it is it's got these, those tuners on it which are the kind of goofy looking they look like the vintage butterbean tuners from this side but then when you turn them over they're those kind of goofy i always associate that with a cheaper tuner um i don't know i could be wrong maybe not and then uh it's just got a couple of the bent string trees on it uh tone volume all the stuff that uh regular Fender or Squire would have, but it just has that that logo, which is I find fascinating. That it says Fender Stratocaster right across the headstock. And but yet it says Squire series. So that's kind of cool. So uh how does it sound? Let's check it out. Okay, I have a Reaper session set up here. Uh, this is my vocal mic, which I'm using to record with. Uh, I changed my setup a little bit. I'm running through a laptop now, and so the lapel mic, I can't get to work. Uh, it's just a mini three and a half inch, whatever, jack, and it doesn't, it won't go into my uh, audio interface. And even if I use an adapter, it doesn't work. So long story short, using the condenser mic, and this is a GoTo Tools uh, microphone that I did a review on earlier so check that out there should be a link in the description and uh, then I ha also have a uh, session or a track set up for the guitar here and then I got the CLA guitars plug-in 
um, just for the purposes of this. It's a good plug-in, I like it. A little out of tune, but anyway, you get an idea of how it sounds. This is a sort of a semi-clean channel. terribly high uh, could probably go down a little bit farther I got this used on an auction site and uh, there's quite a bit of tarnish on the frets uh, and the frets are kind of flattened so this guitar has seen uh, quite a bit of use uh, which is great I like to see a guitar being used Oops. yeah totally out of tune again I haven't changed the strings on it which I probably should have stubborn G string let's go to a totally clean let's turn this up a bit That's the middle position on the switch. Here's the, I don't know what you would call that, the fifth, fifth position. It's got that good squawk. tone to it. some new strings on this. And I think this will become one of my players. So there's a good view of it there. It's a really nice guitar. Again, really heavy. Uh, the finish on it is holding up really well. Um, like I said, I will post in the description some information about the make or the year and whatnot, and uh, I think they made them in the early 90s, I think. I think they only made them for maybe maybe 10 years from this particular, I guess, factory or whatever in Korea, and whatever their, you know, specs were on this particular one. But I thought, I thought it was an interesting guitar. I thought maybe you'd find it interesting too. If you happen to stumble across one of these, I think I only, I think I paid less than $400 for it. So you can't beat uh, that is a uh, alternative to maybe a more expensive uh, Fender, actual Fender. Even the Mexican-made Fenders can get up to six, eight hundred bucks. If you're lucky, you can find one under four hundred dollars. But I think this is a pretty decent guitar. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing it. And uh, if you happen to find one, pick it up. Uh, I don't think you'd be disappointed. And uh, we'll see you next time here on Jay Salen Music. Thanks for tuning in.